Hello, everybody. This is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements looking at some of its more advanced tools. Now, we have a clip on our timeline of people riding bicycles past the camera. There's one person in particular we want to kind of focus on, and he shows up late in the clip. There he is. He's going to wave to the camera and go by. And I want to kind of speed up this clip at certain spots, and I want to slow down the clip at certain spots. So in other words, I'd like to speed it up until this guy comes into the picture, and then we'll slow it down as he goes by. Now, if we wanted to speed up or slow down the entire clip, all we need to do is right-click on it on the timeline and select from the clip menu, time stretch, and here we can set the overall speed or change the overall speed, even reverse the speed uh, for our entire clip but in this particular case we want to speed up and slow down you'll see this used quite often in movies today right it's a favorite special effect to speed up and then suddenly ramp way down and slow down so we can focus on one particular action and we're going to do that by selecting a clip on the timeline we're going over to the toolbar on the right and from the tools we're selecting time remapping now, time remapping is a easy to use workspace that actually does some pretty high level stuff. With time remapping, we can set up certain time zones in our video and affect the speed of only that particular time zone. So if I take the playhead, you can see it's got a little plus on here. You can also add the time zone by clicking on the button here at the bottom, but I'm gonna click on the plus and that creates a little one second time zone that we can stretch out as long as we'd like. Well, I want to stretch this out a lot until our friend practically appears in the video. So this long section here is about 5.5 seconds. Let's make it an even six so we can do the math easier. And once we've created a time zone, we can control the speed of that time zone plays by simply using the little throttle that appears down here at the bottom. Now you won't see the throttle. You'll see if I click off here. You only see the throttle when a time zone is selected. So there it is. And we can throttle it up or down. I'm gonna make it pretty fast. So we'll go up here to very fast. And now you can see at very fast, our six second clip is now only a second and a half long. So it's gonna go by pretty quickly. And uh, we can in fact have it abruptly go into that high speed or we can kind of ramp into it or ease into it. So with this, time zone selected I'm going to select the option to ease in and ease out that way it'll kind of ramp into speed and then slow down at the end and I'll pull the playhead back to the beginning of the clip and you can see how it looks so here we go ramp into fast and then back to normal speed so we've created a time zone here but you can create an unlimited number of time zones on your particular clip we've got our friend appearing here right about here I want to slow it down so I'll create another time zone. This one, I don't want it to be too long because I'm gonna slow it way down. So we'll make this about just a second. So we're just selecting a second from our movie. And then I'm gonna use this throttle to throttle way down to very slow. So now this little one second clip is gonna run about four seconds. So once again, we're only affecting that particular time zone. We'll ease in and ease out so we ramp into it and then because we're slowing down, I'll make sure that when this time zone is selected, I also select the option over here in the lower left for frame blending. That should give me an even smoother slowdown. And then to see how the final piece is gonna look, I'll click the render button up here in the upper right corner of the timeline, and that will create a temporary preview of our movie. And now I can drag my playhead back to the beginning. We should see a speed up until our main character appears and then a really cool ramp and slow down as he goes by. So let's see it, we'll play it, speed up, slow down, here's our friend and slow down and he gives us a wave and goes by. Pretty cool, huh? It's really remarkably simple considering all that's going on uh, when the effect is being applied. There's only one other thing you need to be aware of and that is the fact that these time zone effects only affect the video they don't affect the audio and when you click the done button if your video has video and audio you're going to get a notification like this saying we just wanted to tell you your audio is unaffected in other words this video is going to be much shorter than it was because we sped up a large portion of it but the audio is going to remain untouched do we want to remove the audio completely or just let the audio play out of sync
Well, I'm going to select no in this case. In most cases, I'm going to select yes. But we'll select no here just to show you what the result is. And you can see that if I click off here, our audio is now out of sync with our video. I'm going to just right click and uh, unlink audio and video and then we'll throw away the audio because the audio being out of sync is not really of any value. That's why in most cases I'm going to click yes. Now there's no way to affect the audio and video at the same time in the time remapping tool but if you can tolerate that you get an excellent video effect. There we go. Speed up and slow down. Pretty cool. Now, if you want to know more about these kind of effects and these kind of tools and some tips and tricks about using the many tools in Premiere Elements, check out our tips and tutorials at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything about this amazing program, you'll check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. I'm Steve Grizzetti. I wrote the book and it's available on amazon.com. Take care.